Okay, so in this review video, we're taking a look at the Amu Off-Road LED Whip. So please keep watching. <laughs> This video is brought to you by MidwestATVTrails.com. From the website, click the store option on the navigation bar to browse all the new shirts that have recently been released. And since it's filled through Amazon, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get free shipping on all merchandise. Say so, welcome to the video, guys. So in here, I have the Amu Off-Road LED Light Whip. Now, there was a few reasons that I was intrigued by this specific Light Whip, but one of the reasons was the durability claims that they put on it. Now, it's going on a Honda 400, so in fact, I'm just gonna I'm gonna lean this here. I'm gonna read you one of their claims. So this is directly from the company themselves. Now, they claim it's made from bendable material. It's very durable, can be twisted, beaten, scratched, thrown, smashed, whacked, and bent over 180 degrees without breaking or losing form. Now, that's a lot of strong claims. So I figured one of the best ways to start is we're gonna open up this box and bend it in half and see what happens. All right, let's get her opened up. So, it's in a pretty long box, that's for sure. Jeez. Really? That's it? Like. They, they put just this in a giant box like that you could have fit 10 in. Why didn't they just, why didn't they just use the one box? All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, looks nice. So right out of the gate, looks like a cap and a zip tie. I'm sure we'll get some instructions for that. Orange flag, it's gonna blow away before I get done here. So it comes with its own remote control. That's pretty sweet. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I like the ones with the apps, I think a little more, but usually they're a little higher end. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's got the remote. And then here is the light bar. So initial thoughts, uh, right out of the gate as we're looking at it. I mean, it looks, it looks like pretty good quality. It definitely looks durable. I mean, we'll, uh, we'll get all this stuff taken off. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bend it in half. All right, here we go. Ah. Oh man. Oh, I feel like it's gonna snap any second. Ah. Look at that, over 180 degrees. They didn't lie, so durability on the bend checks out. The quality build looks great. I mean, if you look, it's, it's probably a little hard to tell in the video, but this, this is, uh, this isn't plastic here. It's made to easily screw in and out, which is great. It's only got two wires, so that's that's not much of an issue. Although, you know what? Now that I think about it, it doesn't come with any extra wiring. There's no extra wiring here. Okay, so went to the local hardware store, got the wires, so we are good to go. We're gonna go ahead and get this puppy installed and we will go from there. done as you can see here we've got the quick disconnect on uh, right off the get-go I gotta say super easy to install and I love the quick disconnect for this it feels very durable and on top of that it's very easy to use so we're gonna go ahead and now plug it in and uh, see how she looks all right so right off the bat she's blinking all sorts of different colors uh, it's definitely huge this one's five feet long so let's go ahead and see it's got the remote here. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what she can do with this. So we've got modes, speeds, colors. I mean, geez, 
there's like tons of different options on here you know what in fact it's too bright out for this you're never gonna be able to see that like this with the with the camera on let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and let's make it a little darker in here so we can actually do this right still too bright let's go a little darker that's better all right so uh that was pretty awesome i've got a remote somewhere here let's check it out so the remote off and on all right so i mean as you can see it's it's got all sorts of different settings the speeds change the colors change the brightness changes i mean there's just tons of options here so there's our colors Jeez, tons of different colors oh, i like that light blue these are all this is <laughs> this is awesome so our brightness levels so we can adjust those up and down it's got some dynamic ranges on it too our speed so let's go into mode so there's our different modes. Look at that, jeez. All right, so there we have it. As you can see, there's tons of different features. It's plenty bright, the colors look great. Let's go ahead and switch back to daylight so that we can talk about the basics and then go ahead and end this review. All right, there we go, bright again. So, the basics on this. Now that we've kind of seen the colors and all that, as you saw, there's plenty of colors. I really don't even think we hit them all uh, when we were watching them in the dark. And then it also has 10 different speeds, lots of options there, and then five different brightness levels. So again, darker to brighter. We definitely did not hit all the separate combinations in the dark, but I just wanted to point them out because it really shows that there's a wide variety available here. Other than that, the whip itself is five feet long. To be totally honest, on the quad, I probably would prefer a four foot now that I actually see it on here, but uh, a side-by-side -side or even uh, you know, a sportsman scrambler, outlander, whatever, I could see where a five foot would definitely come in super handy. So not against it, just maybe not for the quad. Uh, it does come with the flag, which is a great addition because I've been to ATV parks in certain places of the country that you can't even ride unless you have a flag. The quick disconnect, which is great on this as well, and then it's also IP65, so it's it's waterproof, which is obviously a huge plus. I, I don't really think I would ever consider buying a, a light whip for an ATV or side-by-side -side that wasn't waterproof, right? So I definitely think that this is a great option for the price. Again, you're getting all sorts of different combinations. It seems extremely durable. And it's like that happy medium ground, right? Because you can spend $200 on a light whip. It's not that hard, but you can also spend less. However, what I found with the less expensive ones is you often either get, you know, one color or it's, you know, it's not very durable. It breaks easy, whatever it may be. In fact, comment down below and let me know experiences that you've had with light whips, especially ones around the $75 range or ones that you've, you've paid less and you've just, you realized it was a waste of money. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. Think about smashing that thumbs up button if it was. Otherwise, subscribe so you can stay up to date on future videos like this. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the trail.